Generic routing encapsulation doesn't give us security, but it gives us a standardized way of bridging the gap between two routers and making it look like we've got a dedicated local link between the two routers. So it's a great way of just building in connectivity, but it doesn't give us security. Now this GRE technique is useful. This feature, this technology is useful because we can get it to send IP, IPX, Apple Talk. It's got what we would call multi-protocol support. And it also has support for broadcast and multicast traffic where IPsec tunnels don't like that by default. IPsec likes unicast traffic. That's what it was built for. GRE is much more open. So if we were to look at a topology such as this, we've got two sites. I want to say, I just want connectivity between these two sites, package up my data. I want it encapsulated, sent across. I might choose a GRE tunnel to do that. That would be our carrier protocol. Like a carrier pigeon is the thing that we use to send messages through the air, which would be our transport protocol. If <laughs> we're stretching the carrier pigeon analogy. Okay, so, and I won't stretch that any further. I'm sure that, that left a bitter taste in your mouth. GRE is a way that we encapsulate traffic and decapsulate it when it's received. It's got protocol 47, multi-protocol support, very, very flexible. It allows us to send routing information across. Why? Because routing information tends to be multicast or broadcast based. IPsec doesn't like multicast and broadcasts. But GRE is okay with it. And so routing protocols do play nicely with this. There's no encryption services that are offered by GRE. Generic routing encapsulation is just trying to be open. It says, I don't care what I'm carrying across. Just give me some packets, I'll wrap it up, and shoot it across the other side, shoot it across the pond. Uh, so we can see things like inside of this flags, do we have optional header fields? We're not going to get into that. What protocol are we using? When we're talking IPv4, then we're going to see Ethertype hexadecimal 800. We're just trying to have a very open arbitrary container it's stateless, doesn't keep track of what we sent, no security, as you can see, and you can also see how big the header is. If we were setting up IPsec and having that be carried across with GRE, I might set up a topology that is really quite complex. Now that complexity can get pretty out of hand if I set it up as a collection of point-to-point -point GRE links. And by the way, that's kind of the default, but there is another approach, multi-point GRE. Now, multi-point GRE is very, very powerful. You've got a hub and spoke topology, a single interface, and on that single interface, you can connect up the others. So it really does work as multi-point instead of you know, a bunch of logical interfaces, one going to each of the, the sites. Like in this case, uh, right here, we would need three physical interfaces and a point to point, or uh, sorry, three logical interfaces, three tunnel interfaces. You only need one on each of the routers, even in this complex mesh topology. Very, very cool. What we are reliant on is next hop resolution protocol. A very elegant technology. And this elegant technology allows us to understand the reachability that we can achieve through this tunnel. 